Here's a time lapse for the main feature wall, including preparation and colour selection that will be throughout the interior. From there, I sketch and render the character in, in the black and white colour scheme. You can see I'm tying in elements of the interior with the line work. A perfect example showing you now is the main entry door. On the left is door open, on the right is door closed. So once I've finished the final details of the character, including overlaying the particular colours. A second feature wall came into play in the back area, which included street style graffiti artwork. Here is a time lapse where you can also see I incorporated the pillars and the process it takes to create the sketch for the actual artwork on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I decided to go for a neutral fill in and an outline that blends with the colour theme, including complementary colour selection. I used matching fades to create continuity between the front feature wall and the corner dining area feature wall, all the while allowing negative space for the custom made seating we planned for to show some colour behind the backing of the bench style seating. There's a handful of subtle nuances that I created, such as the matching candy basketball ring and matching basketballs for display unit with gold leaf on the basketballs and also gold leafing on the main entry wall. Here are some final photos and footage from the interior. I hope you enjoyed the narration. Feel free to leave your comments down below on what you think of this interior that I helped create. A full description can be found on my website at setitoff.com.au Special thanks to the builder for allowing me to run free with some of my concepts and ideas. And a big thank you to the interior designer, Aiden.